Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you the settings to use in Vegas Movie Studio so that you can get widescreen, high-definition videos when you place those on YouTube or when you put those on your website. Let's get started. First thing you want to do before you do anything is go up to Project, and under Project, come down to Properties, and under Properties, choose the properties for widescreen, and that'll be HDV 720-30p, and you'll see a parentheses 1280 by 720. Choose those properties. Also set the field order to none or progressive scan. Pixel aspect ratio to square. The frame rate to be 29.9. Full resolution rendering quality can be best. And the deinterlace method should be none. And if you want to adjust your source media to match the project or render settings, put a check mark there. That's usually a pretty good idea. And then click OK. Now bring all the elements that you want onto your timeline and do the editing. And in this particular project, I have about 14 video and audio and photo clips. And they're all different sizes, but they look great. And you can see that I get widescreen even from my photos by setting those project properties. And once I have it completely edited the way I want, you go to Project. And don't use Make Movie. Always use Render As. So choose Render As. And on Render As, under File Name, choose whatever name you want. Under file type, for YouTube, I seem to get better results when I choose the Windows Media Video, either V11 or whichever version you have on your computer. And that's the WMV file type. And then on template, if you're using Sony Movie Studio 10 Platinum, you'll notice there's a little equal sign in front of the 8 megabyte template. And that's because Movie Studio Platinum will automatically show you the best render template based on your project properties. In this case, 8 megabyte high definition 720-30p video. So choose that template and make sure everything is unchecked except for maybe save project markers and media file and then click save and it'll do the render for you and once you've rendered it it'll give you a widescreen high definition video that'll be a relatively small file that you can upload to youtube again the steps are very simple start with project properties and make sure your project properties hdv 720-30p and you'll want to do this before you edit because it will affect the way that your titles appear on the screen and also the way your photographs appear on the screen. And if you use pan and crop, it'll also affect the pan and crop width that you have on your screen. And then when you render, be sure and use project render as, don't use make movie, render as, and render as to the 8 megapixel HD 720-30p video. It's pretty easy to do. If you follow these on all your projects, you're going to get great results at YouTube. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more like this at www.bmyers.com and also find a whole lot more in my 101 Tips and Tricks for Sony Movie Studio, which is available at Amazon as well as on my own website.